Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Chortle Games Live. My name is Steven, and join with me is Jeremy, Big Germ. <laughs> hey, man. What's up? Um, this is the Babylon's Fall demo. And don't stop rubbing your eyes. <laughs> That's not you. It's not on you. That's the game. Um, we're going to get into it here in a second. Jeremy is launching the game now, and he's got to run through the tutorial mission, but I figured we'd get started. And let everybody get acclimated to these Xbox 360 graphics. <laughs> this is PS5. I am on a PS5 currently. Congrats on beating Witch Queen Austin. That was very that was fast. Quick. That was very quick. Um, let me know if the uh, in-game post campaign whatever is good. I'm going to try to not be overly negative. You know how I feel. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll be overly negative. I can't. I, pff, my hands are tied. I can't stop them. <laughs> um, but this is Babylon. Sorry, you wasted your time, Austin. <laughs> This is Babylon's Fall. Uh, also, how's the audio? Let me know if I need to raise or lower anything. Uh, say something real quick, Jeremy. Just make sure you're coming through. Something real quick, Jeremy. Excellent. You forgot the second half of that, but I'll let it slide. Um, we well, said say, say something real quick, Jeremy. So I said, I said say something real quick, Jeremy, Jeremy, to make sure that you're coming through, and you forgot that part. Oh, I, I didn't need to make sure no one was coming through. Oh, okay. You were going to make sure that I was coming through. Uh, okay, gotcha. Sure gotcha, 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 gotcha. Anyway, this is Babylon's Fall. This game is by Platinum. They have done things such as the Nier games, I believe. Um, I want to say Vanquish. Um, they're known for their action games. Fast-paced, action, all that jazz. Um, so, this is Babylon's Fall, which is... Definitely not as polished as fans of Platinum Games would lead me to believe. I never played Nier. It's not for me. Um, I played... Is Vanquish Platinum? I think it is. Um, but there was hype around this. Because, um, you know, it's an action looter slasher done by a legendary studio. And then we saw gameplay, and it was like... Yo, why are they running this? Also, why does the tone of my face not match the tone of my body? <laughs> um, but we were, then I'm my entire face is coated in makeup. Then, like all of it, the entire head. Thanks, bud. Uh, but everybody was like, "Yo, why is this thing running on an Xbox 360?" And um, I don't know what and it. it this sounds like I hate this game. I don't. I, I actually have enjoyed what I've played so far, but I can't decide if I want to buy it or not. It comes out Monday, I believe. Um, but I just feel like we need to get this out of the way, uh, how it looks, because I don't know what they were thinking. Because this game not only looks two generations old, but it literally looks like there's mud rubbed on the screen sometimes. Like, doesn't this look like it's being animated under paper or something? It's stylized. Well, I hate the style. <laughs> it's bad. And apparently I have to have eyeshadow. Okay. Sure. Actually, no. I'm I'm going to... That'll, that'll make it disappear. Excellent. Gosh, I look like such an edgelord. I don't even know if that's true. Austin, do I look like an edgelord? What, what type of body bitch? <laughs> Character creators are weird. Like... Th like this one, for example... 
it goes to the effort of being like, oh yeah, you can have body paint. But that's, it, it's just that. Maybe it'll be different in the full game, but I, I doubt it. Maybe you'll unlock more? Question mark? Uh, that's true. That's true. Because this game is a service title. It has a battle pass. The first one will be free. But, you know, thanks Fortnite. I'll, I'll, I'll use this hair. It makes me look like less of a... Flynn, stop it. Wait, did the color even change? Oh, ever so slightly. Sure, I'll do that one. Um, but yeah, game looks like poop. We get we we now that that's out of the way. How does it play? How's it coming, by the way, Jeremy? I finally got in game. Okay, so you are done with character creator and stuff. Yeah, excellent. So not that there was much to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, how does the game play? Well, the concept is that you are and. Uh, this, this game's story is nonsense. Like, okay, I'm going to get a little bit more negative out of the way. You are a prisoner, I think, um, who is captured and taken to Babylon. And they put this thing on you called the Gideon's Coffin. That's the red thing on my back. And they, they put it on you and a bunch of other prisoners, and all but three of you die. You and then two other prisoners. Um, and then they're just like, all right, Go, go uh, ascend the ziggurat, which is like the big tower, I guess. Uh, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? That thing. You see the filter on the screen, though? Like, what is that? Uh, whatever. Um, so, this looks like a medieval fantasy game, right? Hold on. Flynn's eating a fill up. Listen here, you little brat. I love you. Get out. <laughs> I love you. Anyway. So this looks like a medieval fantasy game, right? That's what you would think. But the Gideon's Coffin is kind of like a weird sci-fi fantasy kind of Final Fantasy blend thing going on. But also, they have in-ear communicators. As if this was like Ghost Recon or something. Like they're just talking to each other over a radio. And like this dude, Isham, he's the guy that puts the coffin on you. Like he'll put his finger up to his ear and be like, and he'll be like, oh, what's that? There's monsters in the zoo. Okay, go, Sentinel. Go. Like, what? <laughs> it's so weird. Also, is my game audio even coming through? Okay, yeah, it is. Cool. Um, oh, also, a, a, a chick pulls out a gun at one point. Gun, guns are not one of the weapons. But she just pulls a gun and shoots a guy like six times. Um, so anyway, what's good about this game? <laughs> it's a looter slasher. It's a new game. It's... <laughs> That's what they say. They say this is new. Um, it is a looter slasher where you, the... I'll just show you guys the equipment screen. You've got your armor that's got the different stats. Typical fare. Um, then you have the weapons. There are four of them. Your light attack, heavy attack, and then your two... Uh, I forget what they call them. We'll just call them the uh, tendril weapons. I hate that. I'm going to call them that anyway, because that's basically what they are. Um, so you, you have four weapons equipped at a time. As you can see, because of the title, I am equipping four bows. <laughs> um, your square is your light attack weapon. So if I had a sword in my light attack slot, I would use a sword for my square. But if I had a hammer in the triangle slot, triangle heavy attack would be a hammer attack. And then L2 and R2, um, those buttons trigger 
the other two autonomous weapons. So with like if you had a sword in your L2, whenever you press L2, hey Vortex, it would start slicing on its own at an enemy that you were targeting. So you're wielding four weapons at once. So bows, as you will see, if you have four bows, you basically become a one-man firing squad. Kind of cool. Um, there's bows, swords, which in whatever final build I end up in, let me know when you're done with that opening mission and I'll invite you to, well, I'll join your crew. But um, swords seem to be the, the balanced weapon. Like you can be mobile, uh, but also deal some good damage with it and be a little defensive. Um, there's shields, um, hammers, rods, and bows. And I think that's actually it. Um, but the fact that you could equip four is interesting. That was enough to be like, okay, yeah, this is a cool gimmick. Um, for example, you could just have a hammer for your square and then just be like, I want to be able to defend myself, so I'm going to equip a shield in every other slot. <laughs> so then your triangle, uh, for example, if it's a shield, would become a like a shield block to where you swing your shield, and if you time it right, you parry the enemy. Otherwise, you have to dodge. It's very flashy anime-like combat. Um and I think that's what's basically saving the game from being absolute garbage is the fact that there's a cool gimmick attached to it and the combat is is kind of fun. I don't know how the loot game is. It could be good, but this is a demo, so can't really expect anything. Um, I haven't played this in co-op. I don't even know if co-op works yet. Jeremy's working on it. How's it coming? The gameplay is pretty fun. Okay. Have you gotten your uh, f third and fourth attacks yet? No. Okay. I'm about to fight this big guy with a hammer. Or an axe. <clears throat> I think that's when the, you get the, the weapons. The giant knight? Yeah, I think so. I've done almost every other button on the controller, so... <laughs> yeah. So, Jeremy thinks the gameplay is fun. That's good. <laughs> Because I wasn't sure... I hadn't heard anybody say anything. Brody is a is a big fan of Platinum Games. He loves the Nier series. And the only thing I heard him say was, did Platinum really make this? <laughs> so I don't know what he thought of the gameplay. Oh, jeez. What? What Brody said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this whole time... I, I mean, I've, I've been enjoying the gameplay. The combat I thought was pretty fun. I Again, I like the four-weapon gimmick. Uh, it can create some cool combinations. But um, I've been over here thinking, like, it is my... Do I have bad taste? Because <laughs> there's nothing here to where it's like... I understand why I could tell someone about this game. And they could see, like, the first five minutes of it and be like, you must be out of your mind. <laughs> because it does not make a good case for itself when you start. But I think there may be something here. So that's why we're playing this tonight. That was a long introduction to try to pad time till Jeremy um, gets through <laughs> that thing. But honestly, we needed the, the long introduction because I, I felt the need to explain myself. Oh no, it's, it, it was good. It felt necessary. Thank you. Appreciate it. How's everybody doing tonight while we continue to wait? Do you, do you like my, weird dress tunic thing that I've got going on. Ooh. My guy looks like Brandon Lee from the from uh, the crow. Excellent. <sighs> My guy looks like a douche. <laughs> Yeah. But what I told Brody 
was that this is the kind of game that Godfall should have been. And I stand by that. Um, just in terms of the combat having an interesting gimmick to it and the creating a character and having armor loot as well as just as weapon loot. Like I did not like the, the style of Godfall's characters and the weapons weren't interesting enough to me. They were just weapons with combo systems and granted that's kind of what they are here. But the fact that you can combine them to mix and match a play style that adds a little bit to me, but I've barely played Godfall. I played maybe two hours. It was fine. But, you know. You know, it just occurred to me that I had not checked to see if there's even, like, a social menu. Oh, no. It says I have no friends online. Oh, uh, it's going by the Square Enix account. Mm. Excellent. Of course. Because every company has to have their own. They gotta. Brand now. Absolutely. What does touchpad do? Oh yeah, emotes. I just said help to everybody in in the hub. We're gonna get invites now. That's the lady that pulled the gun. Oh, cool. Missions. Did not know that that was a thing. Oh, I've already accepted them. Um, what's, what's, what's your name? Uh, try the crossword seven. That's my account name. Uh, there is game audio vortex, but there's like n no audio coming through the game at this moment. Like there's just nothing happening because this town is so quiet. Like right now my character is breathing heavily running, but that's about it. And the game audio is probably, and if that didn't work, then just do the crossword. But, oh, that muted the game. There we go. Can you hear that? Did you get that vortex? Did you get those menu noises? Okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, did you send me a friend request? I don't have a friend request. I'm sure it'll get louder, Vortex. How's it coming, Jeremy? Ugh. Ah, boom, a friend request. Let's go. It only took us 19 minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> it says I don't have a friend request. <laughs> what? You're joking. No, I'm not. No friend request. Received a new what? friend request. I, I saw it. It said received new friend request. Ah! It just took a minute. It just took a minute for some reason. Accept. I accept you. Now send me that invite. And hope to God that it works. <laughs> I have no friends. 
I get. Yeah, I feel that. I try to stand on this fire. Hold on, let's... Oh, hold on, hold on. Creating a private HQ. Nice. How? How did you do that? There's a, there's a list in community. Nice. In the community tab. Nice. Um, my. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. going to to message you on Discord the HQ code. Gotcha. So we're going by the Monster Hunter way of joining games. That's what. That's what it friggin' seems to be, buddy. The uh, notoriously worst part of Monster Hunter. Yeah. It's like they want us to hate this game. <laughs> yep. Okay. HQ code. Nobody, nobody look. <laughs> Everybody cover your eyes. <laughs> I typed it super fast so no one was able to. Yes, because nobody could pause it. You are so bright <laughs> right now. <laughs> you are literally an angelic body. Bro, is... Don't I look like the crow? I can't tell. You <laughs> look on, like the sun. <laughs> oh my god, you're the crow. <laughs> don't I look like a douche? <laughs> Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm a douche. <laughs> All right. Um, so I don't know what the game wants you to do right now. But whenever it's time to accept a mission, you'll go over here. Or a quest. Um, I have an objective 25 meters over here. Then let's go over there. I lost you. Right here. In the blacksmith. Ah. This is gonna be a fun stream. <laughs> oh, it's just it's it, just icons yeah, it's to talk. Telling me about yeah. Yeah. You're gonna do this oh, here. And you you just do this here. oh, I guess when well that was weird. All right, so there expect desync issues. Maybe. What do you want from me, rookie? So see, Why? he's got a puppet, right? And the puppet is like his words that it's like it's like a twitch. Like he can't control what words puppet says, but his puppet needs him to. Doesn't that make sense? No. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Okay, so you take quests from the board. Yep. Well, actually, you take quests from the woman standing next to the board who says, Ah, yes, look at this board. So you can't just cut out literally the, the middle woman. Woman. Middle woman. And then, okay, you accepted a quest. I know to check the board. I've done this like eight times. Spires of a dad. <laughs> We're going to a dad's spire? Who's yeah. dad? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to this game's credit, going to say this now because I really don't care if this stream gets jinxed. We joined each other. We're doing a mission together. In terms of like beta slash demo for a game like this, not bad. We're off to a pretty good start. Do you like my bows? I got this I one, I got this one, and then I got these. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. I got two hammers, evidently, so. Nice. Yeah, two hammers and a sword and shield, it would seem. How do you right. change them? Uh, you're stuck with them in the mission. You'll get a lot of loot from this mission, so well, shit. I would say just deal yeah. with it for this, yeah. Oh, oh, gee willikers. Those spikes hurt. 
Yeah, they do. Ow. Don't know why the game audio is so quiet. Ah, you missed the currency. Where? Did. Oh, uh, yeah. Did it, did it pick up for you too? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Welcome to the Civic Cloister. Ah, yes. The Cloister. Um, no, I wouldn't say it's poor man's Elden Ring. I'd say it's, I mean, because it's still, it's still a $60 game. <laughs> so, you can get Elden Ring for $60. That's the thing. Like, this is, um, it's like Godfall. A different man's Elden Ring. It's a different man's Elden Ring. <laughs> the, uh... Uh, the less intelligent, less better looking. Yes. Less better, brother. less better looking. I'm trying to be polite. I know. I know. I can, I can say much worse things than that. But, like, the gameplay is not bad. No, the gameplay is pretty like, fun. It's good combat. Um, yeah, It probably doesn't seem that way because I'm using four bows. But the the melee combat is, is very engaging. Do you want me to send my gameplay? Uh, sure. If you want to. I didn't spend anything, Vortex. Not yet. This is a demo. There you go. Okay. Because I have two hammers. Let's see if this works. It does. Gameplay doesn't look great, but we're going to roll with it for a minute. All right, Vortex, let me know if that stutters real bad. Yeah, come on, Vortex, you gotta read my titles. Aha! It is you that's surpassing currency. I, I was looking at the currency. No, you'd ran the other way. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't, don't lie. Ha! Ah, good luck catching up to me! Oh, yeah, you figured it out curses oh no a yellow <laughs> object in a dark world whatever could i do i got you bro stay behind my shield oh is that the spectral oh that's pretty cool actually yeah just keep them i'm just ah <laughs> okay using four bows is actually a lot of fun you just hold down all the buttons at once. <laughs> I just tap all the attack buttons and I'm just firing off shots. But like, it's a cool visual. I like the hammers. Good. Uh, I did hear I could it. imagine getting all four swords though. That'd be cool. It, it, it is. Like... <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. It's just constantly attacking. Um... I think I saw in the Combat 101 video for this game that they released a few days ago that the hammer, you actually can charge up the attacks while dodging. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. I wonder what having two shields does. We're going to find out. Yep. So does that block melee attacks or just ranged attacks? I think both. Okay. I haven't tried it yet. We'll That's really nice because like the spectral weapons, I'm just going to call them spectral weapons. Uh, Dynamis, is that what they're called? Something like that. Um, you can use those in the middle of other animations. Um so, like, if you're about to get hit, you can just pop up that shield no matter what you're in the middle of. Ooh, I got a relic. 
It replaces your L2. You can drop it if you want to. I like my bows too much, so I dropped it. Ah, uh, yes. They're contacting us through our communicator. Pygmalion. What is this? What is this magic? How does she whisper in my ear? Oof. Got a wizard something over here? <laughs> you got a dead. Nice. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Dude, we got platinum. <laughs> <laughs> platinum gangs. It's yeah. That's the that's the Highest honor you can receive. They're like, hey, you're one of us. Also, we made this game, so maybe it's not the highest form of flattery. One of us. One of us. Mm. I don't like how high he jumps. Makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Ow. Uh, what? You started the fight without me, and now I can't get through the wall. <laughs> Are you serious? No. Oh, good. Hi -ya! That was some lag. Uh, yes, it does block melee too. That's nice. Yeah. Have to ruin this guy. Yeah. Gotcha, bro. <laughs> Thank you for being my wall. Oh, I just silver that time. Guess you have to start over. No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, okay. You see that filter that's on the screen? That's all I can see. <laughs> it's gross. I hate it. They probably did it for the demo. They're like, we can't give them what the final product's going to look like. We got to leave them watching. Yeah, that, would like that would make them want to buy the game. <laughs> <laughs> we need the game to run smoothly on next-gen consoles. Right. But sir, it already runs smooth on. No, 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 no. Wait. Shh. See, they're expecting a game that can run smoothly on next gen consoles, and here at Platinum Games, we defy expectations. So, <laughs> let's give them. Let's just give them a game. Mediocre graphics on next gen consoles. Just rub mud on the screen. It really. <sighs> like, there's moments where I'm like, this doesn't look terrible, and then. I'm like this. I, I, my Xbox. It looks yeah, like it looks like Dragon's Dogma on the 360.
follow me. There's a chest up here. Ooh, pure platinum. Dang. Okay, there was oh, dang. there was a chest. Do you see it? We have three seconds. Right now I don't see a chest. Okay, weird. Maybe it's only on replays. Hey, Courtney. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so can you give me an example of, of which music video it looks like, Vortex? This game really wants me to use shields. Oh. Because, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Courtney, because... This, the, 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 what's on your screen right now. Visually, this is a PS5 game. Yeah, you can really tell when you open up the character menu. Atrocious. <laughs> oh, I love the music video for... Wait, no, I'm thinking of So Cold. The music video for Diary of Jane is good, too, though. The music video for So Cold is awesome. I love that song. It's depressing as hell. The music video, but the song is amazing. Oh, I found a bow. Nice. I did I did my all bows thing, so now I'm gonna go to um one sword, one bow. And then two rods. I don't rem I think I see what you're saying. I think I see what you're saying, Vortex. It's got kind of that color, like that dirty look to it. Oh, yeah, you are watching germ screen. I forgot about that here. I'll switch back to me. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Courtney, this is a demo for a game that comes out Monday. Um, it's not great. It's the the gameplay is fun. <clears throat> I feel like I need to say that, but look at it. <laughs> Like, that's what it looks like when you, like, play an MMO and then set your settings all to the lowest possible settings so that you can go to the main hub and not get lag. That's what the characters look like when you do that. I'll be right back. I gotta let Flynn in. See, that's what I'm saying, Vortex. It, it feels like an aesthetic choice to where everything looks like it was like drawn, like, like painted. It, it looks painted, almost. So that's what we need to do then. We need to lower expectations by sending it to Jeremy and then show my feed. So the reason Jeremy's is worse is because he's feeding me his through Discord. Yeah. Um, mine's going straight through the capture device. He's sharing his OBS screen through Discord. That's the only way we can get the immediate switch like that. Um, so don't blame him. Blame. My guy's wearing thigh highs. Excellent. I, let me, where, where are you? 
Where are any of us, man? <laughs> uh, I just saw you run. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You weren't kidding. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> How does, it, how does it feel to have shoes that are also pants? It's, um, but you know, it, there's there's a breeze. Yeah. It's very, very freeing. It's a little cold. <laughs> <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Yeah. We're going to do the winds of shamash the like button. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe for real, though. <laughs> subscribe to True Games on YouTube. Oh, God. I am but an entertainer, Vortex. Nothing more. And with him, the thigh is the limit. <laughs> I've used that joke I, on I the need channel. That. <laughs> <laughs> I've used that joke specifically on the channel like four times. And it, it, oh, I love it. never gets old. It is a choice, Courtney. It is certainly a choice. How are you today? It's literally the only piece that I picked up that's better than the uh, no leggings. So I didn't even really have a choice. Vortex said you've evolved into Sir Thotimus Maximus the Confused. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Thotimus Maximus Desperatius. I forgot you can lock on. Yeah. Get the barrel guy. I made a field that does something. I just fire laser balls for some reason. Like that's that's yeah. or energy balls. I mean, Quinn, you're fine. Love you. More plat. So yeah, like watch when I use the rod at full charge. That happens. I don't know what it does. Oh, it does. It gives you a buff of some kind. Thing for me. Yeah. It's still something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> oh man. What is it? <laughs> hey Flynn, do the Tim Allen thing. <laughs> that was good. That was pretty good. You can do better, but that was pretty good. Well, you know what, Vortex? I... I blame myself. You know, sometimes you just need a good rod twisting, you know? Twisting? <laughs> sure. Ooh. Combined with what Vortex said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
Uh, hold on. I got you. I hit the wrong thing. Watch out. Whew. It does feel really good. Good, perfect dodge. Yeah, it's satisfying. Are these roly polies? Basically. Oh, I love these things. <laughs> I did a charge attack and my guy was like, away with you. <laughs> my character has never spoken. Oh, I just heard my guy. Gold. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even know what the gold is for because our currency is conches, like conch shells. Conch, yeah. I think it's just the uh, ranking that we're getting on these, and the better we're ranked, the more. Ah, uh, yes. Then we get at the end. When I see the ball. You were rocking those boots, my guy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bro, my, my calves look amazing. They do. That was rhetorical, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, man. I got you. Yep, I hear you, bud. I hear you. The ball. Oh, there's a there's a tinkling sound nearby. It wasn't me, I swear. No, when if when if uh, we can find treasure here. Ooh, we hear I just ate sound. that. So there's like a chest nearby or something. No, the lady was saying that there's a bunch of like secrets near here uh -huh. in this area. And we'll, we're, we'll hear a tinkling sound. Excellent. I, I don't want to hear a tinkling sound, personally, but... But it means treasure. I mean, to some, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this, uh, this stream turned radio on pretty quick. <clears throat> ah, I see this tre- I, I see it! I hear the tinkle. What did you hear the tinkle? I heard the tinkle. Was it like a bell ringing or? Actually, I didn't. I just saw it with my eyes. Um, okay. What? What? I didn't this know you were into that. That's fine. Dude, stay around, man. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it doesn't feel right. very fine. Mm. Some people pay a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh uh there's nothing here oh i i thought i heard a tinkle that was me <laughs> <laughs> just let a little one out yeah just <gasps> yep the jump, the, the, the jump it was. Too uh, much. It was the it was the jumping. Yeah. Okay. Well, it really wasn't the jump. It was the landing. Just a little came jo out. Jostled your jimmies. I jostled my jimmies. See, you wouldn't know because you don't have any jimmies to currently be jostled. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Nothing. <laughs> knocked over, right? knocked over my mic. <laughs> it sounded like your whole table fell apart. Nah, it, it like I bumped ah! it. <laughs> I bumped it back and it fell on my keyboard. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> you jostled your chimney. I did. I did. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Uh, he's got his jimmies in a chop. So, apparently, whatever I just did bumped something on OBS, and they were looking at a black screen. <laughs> nice. Sorry, guys. I knocked my mic over. We're back. And we're back. Oh, yeah. This is a great stream. This is a great stream.
Did the audio cut out too? When that happened, Vortex? Just out of curiosity. Ow. Okay. He's enraged, whatever that means. Yeah, he's not anymore. Legend Crazy over on tw uh, Twitch. How do you invite friends on this game? Um, you have to send them a friend request on their Square Enix account. So uh, we're about to finish this level. Stick around and I'll actually show you how to do it. It's super easy. Also, what do you think of this game? I'm undecided. I can't decide if I like it or not. Like, the combat's fine, but I don't know if it's justifying. Pure platinum, Just baby. Pure plat. All day. I, I think with friends it's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I could not imagine playing this game, like yeah. putting hours and hours into it solo. I just want some new pants. <laughs> <laughs> sword though nice okay so um you created a private hq f first right i don't know if that's n like mandatory legend crazy if you're still watching you'll go to your start menu or whatever um whatever your system is community um there should be something down here that says pr a private hq or something like that that creates a private server and then it'll create an HQ code um, that you can send to your friends. Um, and then they join that way. I don't know if now that now that um, I think about it, we actually didn't do any kind of like invite friend. We just did HQ code. Um, so you may not actually have to add them on the Square Enix account. Um, but if you do want to add friends, you go to friend list. Then you'll if you if you want to create a public lobby, I could imagine that yeah that you could do through that and then go through your friends list to invite because that's how is there an option there i didn't see it but we're in a party so no problem legend is legend legend crazy plan <laughs> he sounds so angry <laughs> he's he's just playing with me i know they're going up and down the stairs. He's got real bad zoomies. By the way, you can talk to Pygma Pygmalion. And, um... <laughs> you can go to equipment in the conch shop, and you can buy, like, gear sets from him. Sick. Oh, they're only 5,000. Yeah. Ugh. Pretty much, Vortex. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Got the 
tight pants. Got my tight pants on. <laughs> oh, you got pants now? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't see any pants. I just changed it to them. I'm waiting for it to reflect that on screen, but I don't. Oh, heck yeah, it's a good helmet. So I'm waiting for the game to introduce um, like selling and crafting items and stuff like that. Look at me, I match. And also I have a choker. That's hot. Yeah. <sighs> Beats me, Vortex. I'm probably gonna... Well, I say probably. I'm going to wait on this game at the very least. Like, this is not a day one for me. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I've got Guild Wars End of Dragons on Monday anyway. <laughs> <What is this? laughs> um, so I'm going to be playing Guild Wars on Monday. Cat and I might actually stream uh, the story um, on Monday afternoon. So that could be fun. Um, but... Jeez. Oh, In terms of this game, I've, I've got to wait and see what people think. Like, I, I need to hear how the, the loot game opens up. Next mission. You know, I haven't used a hammer yet, so I'm going to bring a hammer. They're fun. Let me know when you're ready and all. Okay. Start it. I'm ready. Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I keep yawning. Aaronator, who streams here uh, sometimes, he would call that the famous yawn because very often when we're, we're playing something, I'll just get yawning fits. Steven, look how big my arms are. I don't know where you are. Right next to you. I feel like my forearms are huge. Yeah, they're alright. Oh, my elbows are growing and shrinking. <laughs> that's why they look weird. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's what it was. <laughs> the the storm of Murdoch. <laughs> oh, Murdoch. <laughs> you shot Murdoch. <laughs> no. <laughs> Donald. Donald. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Let's not start that again. I know, I know. Or or let's I, I really don't care either way. Mini. Hey, Mini, you're fine. He's fine. She wants to go out there and join Flynn in the barking. Ah, yes, the barking. Yep. <laughs> Hammer is fun. It's satisfying when it just drops. Yeah.
I don't know what this field does. Oh, no, no field. <laughs> I'm taking a beating somehow. Minnie's definitely the barker of the two. Flynn doesn't bark that much. He kind of whines. He does the whimpery kind of noises. It's the husky in him. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to check on him. I was a little worried because he was barking a little bit, but when I looked outside, he's just standing there panting and smiling. So he probably found a squirrel and was chasing around, and then he's like, but I want to chase the squirrel. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, so I teased you, Gallagher. <laughs> oh, and it, 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 it Mary buddy, Poppins. Uh, buddy, oh, well, it, it, bloody hell, Gallagher. Bloody hell, Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I want to like it. Yeah. And I, I feel like I do. I just, it, I'm definitely not going to pay to play this <laughs> yeah it'll probably be a free game like three months from now yeah i could definitely see this going free to play i would get this on sale yeah for 20 30 bucks sure yeah i would pay 30 for this Good little dungeon crawler. Yeah. It really does. Speaking of which, Vortex, of the PlayStation Month games, have you seen next month's lineup? It's have not you? bad. It's, it's, it's good. Because it's Ark Survival Evolved, which I'm eh about, but I know that that's one that a lot of people are looking forward to. Um, Ghost Runner. I'm super excited for Ghost Runner, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, me too. That, that was on my list for a while, and I was it was one of those games I never wanted to kind of pull the trigger on. Right. And then there's one more. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima Legends. That's what it was. Yeah. That's a solid lineup. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Yeah. So he's just got time in a barrel? Like, what the hell? No, it's the guy in the back. This guy. Yeah, he's like throwing jars. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't see the jar, jar before. The jar oh, jar I guess makes. it's like an artifact. That makes more sense. <laughs> Solid gold. 
but not pure platinum. No, not this time. What happened to us, Jeremy? It's the it's the pants, Jeremy. You put on pants and suddenly we're not platinum anymore. <laughs> you covered your crotch. That was the secret weapon, apparently. <laughs> I can't remember what comedian it was, but years and years ago, I remember watching him and he was like, if I ever get into a fight, first thing I'm going to do is just take all of my clothes off. <laughs> that sounds familiar. And everybody's like, what? And he's like, yeah, nobody wants to fight a naked guy. Yeah. And he's just like, well, this guy's a friggin' psycho. I'm not going to fight him now. He's naked. What, what am I going to do? I've I've heard that that bit before. I don't remember who yeah. it was. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you who it was. I think it was like Jim Brewer or something like that. Wow. Oof. I don't remember which one is the PS5 game, now that I think about it. Over here. That's very, uh... Oh, there. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, I, I grabbed all of it. There's an artifact thing, though. Well... I just watched that transpire on my screen. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I didn't mean to heal. Gosh dang it. What the hell? That piece of debris just came in sideways. Hell yeah. I hope I find a good sword. The sword is a lot of fun. Do you like my icicle? I love it. <laughs> okay. I had to use my icicle. Ah. Uh. Ah. Boss room? Yeah. The wand is a terrible weapon. Like, it's got good, um, w whatever they're called abilities, like when it's not your heavier light attack, but the heavy and light attacks are terrible. The only thing that's good about them is that one of them actually has a healing spell that you can use by charging the weapon. But it takes forever to channel it. I like the current setup I have. 
What is it? I have a sword on square, a hammer on triangle, a shield on R2, and a bow on L2. Nice. That is a good kit. I'm probably going to go... Um... Ooh. Biggins. Yep. Probably going to go. Um, sword in main hand. Um, either a healing rod or a longbow in um, offhand, which I guess heavy attack, I mean. Um, and then another bow and a rod or two bows on my back. There is a type of bow that's a rapid fire bow, and I've, I've only found one, but it's like really low level. Yeah, that was the first one I had. Hey, Aaron. Saw you were playing No Man's Sky earlier. How do you like it? We were just talking about your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true, though. We were. <laughs> Explain yourself, Vortex. He deserves it. No. Leave. <laughs> just, just leave it go. Leave everything unsaid. Yeah. I don't know how good the shield's doing. I could see it being useful if you use a lot of charged hammer attacks. Uh, yeah, I have been. Okay. Oh, cool. You gave me a like. I gave you one, too. How about that? I've given you one every single... I did not realize that was a mechanic until just now. Yeah, dick. So sorry. Whatever. Give me good weapons. What are you doing? I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can trade with you. That'd be nice. I don't think you can, though. Spectral attacks. So that is what they're called. Okay. My thighs? What the heck? I'm flattered. I really hope there's crafting in this. Like, eventually. Like, you gotta give me something to work with. What is a deadly shot? Sure, I'll buy it. You know what? I'm going all swords this time. I'm I'm going to be the epitome of having studied the blade. I see. <laughs> Very interesting. The uh, one laser rifle, the bolt caster. That's just the basic weapon. I see. <laughs>
I believe you, Vortex. I'm bringing one bow. I didn't know there even was a creative mode in No Man's Sky. It's complicated, Aaron, but once you get the hang of it, it it's you'll lose hours into that game. It's just very entertaining and also very chill. What? What? How many missions are in the Civic Cloister in it? <laughs> I think four. Yeah, this is the fourth one. So. But, weirdly enough, we get the next area in this demo. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's a siege? And a skirmish? Interesting. Did you, uh, queue up the quest? Mm-hmm. Okay. I cancel it if you want me to. No, I'm, I'm good. I just needed to know if I needed to go up to the board. I'm looking a little less dumb. I look like a turd with chrome sprinkles. <laughs> from the Chappelle show. Put diamonds in my food. Makes my dookie twinkle. Oh, wow. It's super interesting. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is just one fight. Are you skipping? I did, but you can watch it. It's fine. What's what's happening right now on your screen? Oh, whoa. <laughs> is it still showing the cutscene? Yeah. Okay. So this guy is a former Sentinel. We're Sentinel. I want to look like that. Well, he's a fallen sentinel. He's died. I want to look like that. Gallagher ruins everything. <laughs> you have to. You have to power the door. Aaron, and then you have to make sure that, like, if you're plugging into a battery, that the battery has power. Don't worry, the three of us are more than enough. Gallagher, you're with me, and it. Oi. There's a really listen. Big one's all yours. There's a really bad British accent in this game. <laughs> Anna's looking at me because she loves the British people, and she's giving me side eye. She. She knows how I feel about bad British accents. A la Lin Manuel Miranda and Mary Poppins. <laughs> Fight me. Well. I should have brought my ranged weapons. Glad I brought the one bow at least. Watch out. You can dodge everything. Watch out. Ow. 
I'm gonna back up a little bit. Hey, bud, there's a wall there. Yeah, Aaron, um, I still prefer Starbound. Um, just because there's a lot more potential in it. In terms of content. Um, but you're absolutely right to compare the two. The big reason I didn't try No Man's Sky until recently is because I had Starbound. It, it was just the better game until semi recently when they're when it actually started getting really good so you can make an argument for it I'm slicing and dicing this guy with so many swords right now you wouldn't believe <laughs> bro I'm hammering his ankles like I'm the uh, what's that lady bait something Bateman From that, that one Stephen King movie. Oh, Kathy Bates? Kathy Bates, that's it. Destroy the swords, destroy the swords. <laughs> Got him. What? For some reason, I I just keep standing in between his legs, and he keeps like kneeling down, and I keep thinking like, oh, I'm slashing him in the nets. <laughs> <laughs> very and, uh, very good, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it made me think of a uh, a part in Conquer's Bad Fur Day on N64 mm -hmm. that you fight this big um, like boiler that has uh, brass nuts. And you have to stun it and then, like, run up to it and hit the nuts with a frying pan. <laughs> like, that's your main weapon. Shoot. Destroy the swords again. And I thought it would be hilarious to see you play Conker's Bed for a day because it's, it's a good game. Yeah. It's probably one of my top three with uh, Super Metroid and... LTTP. Yeah. Link to the past. Gotcha. I was gonna ask. Yeah. You hearing this opera dude go nuts? I'm I am loving it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this guy is just I imagine him standing off like in a distant yeah. window somewhere. Yeah, he's 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 going, he's seeing Whoa! this. Like he, yeah. he's watching. <laughs> he's he's standing over in one of these windows back yes. in the back. He is experiencing this. Uh -huh. He's like standing next to Sophia and she's just like, damn, this is a crazy fight. <laughs> and he's like, yes! <laughs> oh, man. Totally brutal. <laughs> Pure plat, Pure baby. Pure plat. All day. Hurts to be this good sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, watch this part. This part's great. Apparently he's a robot. Um, okay. Yeah. Suck to suck, nerd. So 
So he told us. There are two options. Succeed or fail. <laughs> okay. The in Conquer's Bad Freddy it does make a ding sound. Like a very metallic like ding. That's funny. It's, it's fantastic. Which there would have to be if we did play that on the channel, there would be like an R rated war warning before every Yeah episode because it is rated mature. <laughs> There's some uh, adult themes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a few, though. Yeah. Is he gonna die? Hey, Chef Den. Hey, Chef Den, it? <laughs> it, it? Ooh. Ooh. He's turning into Spider-Man. So, he, is he the new bad guy? I don't know. But probably. Oh! Oh, she just had a gun. <laughs> I'm over here like, can I have a gun? Can I have four guns, please? Why does it have six barrels? Because it makes it look old timey. Although it would have been absolutely just hilarious if it was like a desert eagle. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't put it past this game. I only said Spider-Man because he was red and blue, Aaron. That's the only reason. What did you just say? Aaron said, uh, was it wondering why I said Gallagher was turning into Spider-Man. I said because he was red and blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, that filter's still in the back of the screen. Yeah, I'd, I'd think more Ganondorf if he was like purple and orange or something. The filter's just so good. It's so good. It's so good. <sighs> Apparently I leveled up. I didn't even know that we had levels. If I'm being honest. Sick. Yeah. Oh, I got a dope sword. Dang. I want a sword. You see it? No. You know what's funny? For that mission, because that was the first... Was it the purple sword? No, it's red. Oh. Well, well yeah. Um, I got Purple a, rarity. Yeah, I got a purple rarity hammer. Nice. For completing that. He does. He did have red hair, but he shot purple fireballs. His magic was purple. If he shifted. In it. In it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Gaffna. <laughs> oh, you sound like you're from London. London. Off to the next area. Thieves Cloister. You ready? Yeah. In it? It, in it. <laughs> bruv. You ready? You ready, in it, bruv? 
Oi. So the battery doesn't generate power. You have to put power in the battery. The battery is like a bank to put power. So if you have like a solar panel during the day, wire that into a battery, the power goes from the solar panel into the battery and it's banked there so that you have power even at night. Um, and Re then, what? I was going to say, just be sure to research the battery and the, um, was it the, uh, I think he's reactor. in creative mode, so it should. Oh, you should have both. Yeah. Then you can use the reactor if you have unlimited resources and do that. <laughs> Vortex thought we were talking about Gandalf when we said Ganondorf. That's funny. No, God, no, not Gandalf. <laughs> I have no memory of this place in it. <laughs> Bruv. Somewhere Ian McKellen just felt a disturbance in the forest. Yes. <laughs> like, I have no memory of that place. <laughs> How funny would it be if it, it like queued us up for this mission, then it was like, play the mission in the full game, Monday. <sighs> That'd be hilarious. It'd be a quick stream. <laughs> I mean, we've been going for almost an hour and a half, I think about. Yeah, that's true. The, the thing in the ear. Isn't it so dumb? <laughs> it's, it's killing me. Yes, it's me, the knight of this medieval kingdom, over. I'm getting bad reception on my communicator. That's Bluetooth, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, what? Why are you rocking with the like button? Did you know Bluetooth was named after a king in Norway? Was it really? Yeah. King Harold Bluetooth. Why? Yeah, the actual, like, because uh, Bluetooth was invented in Norway and he united okay. Denmark and Norway. That makes more sense. I thought it was... And the actual, like, the Bluetooth, like, uh, Icon, yeah, is uh, like Viking ruins. That makes sense. I thought it looked fairly runish. Yeah. Are you still talking? Our guy has not. Our guy hasn't moved at all. <laughs> He's just standing there listening to Sophia yeah. yabber on. <laughs> And it, <laughs> <laughs> <Isn't> it over. <laughs> In it, <laughs> that's over for them. That's that's how they confirm end of communication. Oh, it, yeah. it, it. Steven, you work at a church. What are the missionaries' jobs? I think that's the name of them. That's a very broad question. Uh, missionaries, specifically, are people... Uh, oh, no. Why would they do this? Oh, my God, Jeremy. Oh, this is a choice. This is ch It's choice. I don't feel like I got 
to be in on the choice. Yeah. But... But missionaries, their job specifically, um, whether it's locally or internationally, um, is to basically like help with church plants or help spread the gospel to places that do not have it, uh, stuff like that. Missionaries typically do not work directly at a, a church like what I work at because missionaries, oh, are, okay. you, you send out into the world. Um, so I don't know if that is the word you're looking for, but there is missionaries are a thing that are associated with the church, but they are the people that go out into the world and, and help spread the church to other places. I am not a missionary. I am not even ordained, um, which means I'm not a pastor. Um, I'm just on support staff there. You might be thinking of minister, maybe? Yes, question. Apparently, we can breathe underwater. Apparently. I almost said, yes, question, what's your vortex? <laughs> vortex, what's your question? <laughs> yes, what well, is the question? <laughs> no, Doom is not a Christian game. Because the definition, the definition of Christian is uh, like Christ or little Christ's. And Jesus, in biblical canon, did not kill demons. So by the definition, Doom is not a Christian game. All Swords is, is ridiculous. Is it fun? It's very fun. It's just constant, constant attacks. Are you just tapping them all at once? I'm holding them. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> Whoa, Vortex. Whoa. Uncalled for. Is this backwards world? The way you said that reminded me of... Um, you, I don't know if you've seen this, but there was an interview that Vin <laughs> Diesel did. Um for it was whatever the newest triple X movie was. Mm -hmm. And he thought the woman interviewing him, and this was in like, this is, is it, let's just say it was in Spain. I don't know where it was, but it, it was, it was a foreign country. And, um, this woman, he thought she was the prettiest thing ever. Vin Diesel is also married with children. Uh, but he kept getting distracted and he would just stop and be like, gosh, you're so beautiful. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some lunch. Let's get a coffee or something. He's just hitting on this poor woman, and she's trying to be professional. And at one point, he stands up, and he goes, When did this turn into beautiful world? <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> it was so cringy. It reminded me of a, uh, a thing that they talked about on Game Grumps, that a friend of Danny's found a, uh, an article that was about Bruno Mars. Uh-huh. And it was, the title of the article was, Does Bruno Mars is Gay? <laughs> There's and it was just here. really bad. It's conch rocks. Slice, slice, slice! I got him. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I, you got your conch on me, bro. Mm. Oh, you got... You have my peanut butter and my chocolate. Well, you got your chocolate and my peanut butter. <laughs> I game grumps to remember. <laughs> They need to tighten the range weapons to where they don't feel so freaking slow. Like, I understand for balancing purposes probably why they're so slow. but They with, do a lot more damage. 
Well, it depends. The, the wands do absolute crap for damage. Oh, no. The wands suck. I'm talking about the bow. The bow, yes. But, like, it, it's so awkward. Oh, oh, chest over here. <laughs> oh, we just in- jump over it. It's an interesting uh, image. Vortex. Although my pastor, when he was uh, preaching a sermon uh, a few months ago, did reference uh, Talladega Nights, the scene where they're praying. He's like, dear sweet baby Jesus in the manger. Hello. Nine pounds. Nine, pa- nine pounds. Nine pounds. Nine pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Jesus sitting in the manger. Yep. He's like, I like to imagine him as this like cool guy with like a tuxedo shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> what was the? Where he's like, I like to imagine that we're at a Leonard Skinner concert. And I'm at the front row and I'm wicked drunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aaron, are you okay? Why are you talking like Yoda? (laughs) Did I miss something? I don't like these dogs. Really? Yeah, they scare you. Keanu Reeves is Jesus. He does look a lot like the Western yeah. uh, picture of Jesus, which is uh, not accurate. No. You mean because he's white? Yeah. <laughs> Just realize these guys have bags over like, their heads. Yeah, a lot of them do. Very uh, Bloodborne yeah. vibe to these guys. I saw a picture today on Facebook. It was on the Out of Context Comics page, which I love. Um, and I, I don't think I sent it to you, but it, no. um, it was Bert from Sesame Street as a monster from Bloodborne. And uh, he, he's like, how do you see Ernie? Like, or something. And then it goes to Ernie and he's the hunter. And he goes, with your eyes, Bert. And he's crying. Like, it was so weird. (laughs) Jeez. Ah. Aaron's in Backwards World. Oh. Gotcha. Pure plat, bruh. Pure plat all day. Daily, nightly, and ever so rightly. I'll post it in the memes channel, that picture, because I think I downloaded it. Damn. It does look, the gun does look like that, Vortex, you are correct. Steven, I think we got pure platinum through that entire thing. Did we? I wasn't even trying! (laughs) That's fine. I'm going to stop liking. Oh, did I not like you? No! No! I'm sorry. Done it every time. And you're just like... Take me back, game. Take me back. (laughs) Oh, that's... He's like, Ernie, how do I look? Yeah. With your eyes, Bert. (laughs) (laughs) I posted in the memes channel. 
Why'd they make this? Why'd they do these this way? Vortex, I just thought the same thing. All right, I hope that we get a choice to change the victory emotes. Why did we have... What? Like, just this, the way they're doing this cutscene. Really oh, I skipped it. Oh, I'm going to skip it too, then. Yeah, um, it's not worth watching it. I forgot I got a new sword. I also got a new sword. Did I get a new hammer? Actually, did get it. Oh no. Hey. I got the repeating bow. I don't know what that is, Vortex. Or who that... I know what Fist of the North Star is. I don't know who that is from Fist of the North Star. Gosh, that looks stupid. Oh, no. Jeremy, no. What? My, oh, my, hell yeah. My pants. Oh, your pants. <laughs> my pants. <laughs> Crotch was so hungry they ate it. Hell. <laughs> It's not fair. Well, I've never watched it, Vortex. Sorry. Jeez. Oh, cool, there's rewards we can claim, like titles, I guess. Yeet Lord. No. Ye look at the screen. Yeet Lord. Oh, cool. I got a vanity set. Yes, Akib, because I got a title on the game called Yeet Lord. <sighs> what? I said I'm going home. <laughs> That's a nice, nice chess piece. I like your corset. I'm just gonna equip my vanity set that I just unlocked. No. There we go. That looks cool. Yeah. How do you how do you do a vanity set? What the heck? Uh, check your battle pass. It's the first thing you unlock. 
Oh, R3 in the equipment menu. Yeah, I got it. I got that. Dude, your armor is what it feels like to step on a Lego, if that makes any sense. It does. It makes 100%. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, I didn't get a vanity set. You just may not have unlocked that first rank yet. Um, Aaron, I, I want the Blood Moon thing to happen. It's just, um, we, we, honestly, we probably could have done it tonight. Um, but I was waiting on McCoy, but I think we'll probably just do it, um, when we have three at least. So we'll try next week. Um, and as long as three of us are able to do it, we'll do it. Although triangle strategy comes out Friday. So I'm going to be playing that. I hate the name so much. It's so bad. It's so bad. But the game is really good so far. Yes, thanks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. I was just reading. So, Akib, that's the game I've been looking forward to. I think it was on my top five most anticipated. Um, it's basically this, a Fire Emblem-esque story with Final Fantasy Tactics gameplay with the art style of Octopath Traveler. I've played the prologue demo. And it's, and it's really good. What tier of the Battle Pass are you on? Like the first one. Like just one? Uh, yeah. It's the bottom. It's the premium reward. Uh, it's the chest. You might need to turn in missions to get BP or whatever it is. How do I turn in missions? Go over to where Sophia is. Oh, it's incredible, Aaron. Uh, it's it's procedural, so a lot of it is like stuff you've seen before, but how well it handles that procedural generation and how big it is is insane. It's very impressive. The reason it's called Triangle Strategy is because it uses a it uses three convictions basically to kind of determine outcomes of different things like who joins you and stuff like there's being a pragmatic person a person who's driven by justice and then like greed or something something like that it, it's in reference to the type of leader that you make the main character sarah noah uh, and the working title and that's the problem is that the working title was project triangle strategy i could see that as a working title like like just a project code name. But change it. <laughs> you know? Really, Aaron? Interesting. Next mission? So take these broken wings. <laughs> I was thinking more Alter Bridge with that. Mm. Yeah. You know Alter Bridge? No. It's uh, Creed, but without Scott Stapp, the singer. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it actually, they're actually a really good band. Nice. You've probably heard a couple of their songs before. Probably have, just... Of this game? Vortex, that's a fantastic question. 
Um, Babylon is a city. There's a tower called the Ziggurat. We're sentinels that have communicators in our heads and things on our backs that give us ghost weapons. That's the story. Oh, sentinels climb the Ziggurat trying to do something. Their freedom? The safety of Babylon? I really don't know. All I do is like us to safe and sound at the headquarters. And net. And net. I have basically unlimited spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm just using my swords constantly. I'm, I bet it looks about as good as God of War on PS2 as well, Aaron. <laughs> Are you using a wand? Yeah. Huh. What um, are you doing that's making that thing follow you? Like the aura. Constantly tapping it. Okay. Instead of holding it down. Akeem says, kind of looks like the ads Raid Shadow Legends. Mm. Vortex said, it has to be a bit above Cyberpunk on the Nintendo DS. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the DS... That's that's a... <laughs> that's an insult to the DS. Ooh. What a good system. It really DS. was. I hate that the store's closing, but, I mean, I was never going to use it again, so... No. But like, so good. They have the best handheld that they could ever make. Yeah. Oh, they got birds. Watch out for the bird. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I still stand by saying that they're the best Pokemon has ever been. Platinum all day. Not pure platinum, though. We need to be a little more pure next time. No cussing. You got platinum in that one? I did. I got gold. Oh. I didn't know we got different ones. Rankings. I didn't either. <laughs> That's true, Vortex. Ugh. So have you figured out what that field that you've got does yet? Nope. Cool. And is the is that spectral or is that heavier light attack? Spectral. Okay. Uh, gradual. Every time I take damage, I get gradual HP regen. Is that part of your armor? No, it's the 
Oh, where'd you see that? Staff. On the staff. It has it on th at the bottom of it. Is that the enchantment, or is that the... Or is that, like, a description of the ability? Because I've seen the enchantments, but I don't know where it says what things do, if that makes sense. I think it was the enchantment. Okay. So that's, like, a, like a minor attribute. But it says aura. Huh. And that's. So maybe. Hmm. So maybe. It creates the maybe maybe that's what an aura is, and it's creating that. But that's not what the staff itself does. That's the minor attribute of the staff. Maybe. I don't know. No say, bud. Pure platinum. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't understand why they decided that they could be so confident that gamers were enjoying this game so much that they would forgive an underwater level this early on or even being in the game at all to be honest people people learned so early with uh with zelda like yeah nobody nobody fucking wants underwater that's that's been something that the industry has known for so long now especially this early but they keep doing it well they think they're they can improve on it I've never heard of the Pokewalker, Aaron. Like I said, Vortex, the game is fun. It is. The combat is fun. We are having a good... I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. But some of the choices... The combat's super fun. Yeah. So, it's just... I have zero interest in the story. Yeah. And some of the character and enemy choices are interesting like this like that's a cool design yeah it's cool but like why <laughs> <laughs> watch out for the orbs bullet oh, hell it's a bullet hell now shield. <laughs> i got a shield get behind me My guy just yelled, NICE, when I shot up an arrow. Calm down, buddy. Come here, man, wave. All right. Watch the right. Oof. Okay, lady. Enraged. Woof. And I don't really care. Dang, she hates me. She feels her true form. The chaos in her heart increases. Ooh, gotcha. Oh, shoot. The floor is lava. I died. Me too. We have, we have five self-revives. Okay. Apparently. I, th 
I think. It says resurrecting. I'm going to walk away from her. <laughs> oh, oof. Why can't I block? Okay, lady. There it is. Did you not have spirit? Yeah. En enraged. It's the enraged mode that's messing us up. I just can't see her moves. Got it. Your guy was like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I got pure platinum for that. I, I did too. What the hell? <laughs> we died. <laughs> Even after dying. Jeez. I went backwards. Yeah, you did. I'm level four, whatever that means. And I liked you. I didn't like you. I deserved that. No, I did. Later, Aaron. Thanks for hanging out. Later. Temple of Bemis. Do we care? <laughs> no. Ooh, what is that? Is that Bemis? Where's Butthead? <laughs> God damn it. Gotcha. Beat you by two seconds. <laughs> Boom, rusted. <laughs> Stanley, heart sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If you're just tuning in, this is... Uh, Babylon's Fall. Babylon's Fall? <laughs> I got there. It's Babylon's Fall. Fun combat. But... Like, what the hell? Interesting choices. Their choices. I'm skipping. The visuals are bad. The story is bad. Who is this? It looks like Gary Oldman from Fifth Element from behind. Doesn't it? Where? Where? Oh, yeah. It's Gary Oldman. You're a monster sword. I know. He looks like him from the front, too. Yeah. I skipped it. Two steps ahead of you, bro. Can we craft yet? Please? I, don't think there's be crafting. I mean, Isham has a blacksmith symbol. So there's got like, there's got to be. What's a disease? Temple of Bemis. <laughs> If you or a loved one suffer from Temple of Bemis, you, <laughs> you may be entitled to come. <laughs> if you seek medical attention for your Bemis. <laughs> That's so dumb.
How do I see the daily missions? Oh. Go talk to Sophia. I did. I didn't see where it had the daily missions in it. Oh, she should have missions and stuff. Should say missions and orders. Yeah, I just see the... The missions aren't things you can accept. It's just stuff you can claim. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. And under daily, it says I complete all daily missions. Uh, complete a quest using quick match. Nah. I guess that's the other daily. Well, I have to do it <laughs> to, to get all of it. That would be crazy, Vortex. I think we still have two missions left. Unless if there's a third area, which would be ridiculous. Game keeps giving me hammers, and I don't want hammers. Uh, what? Whoa! You can't do quick match in a private HQ. Ah. Thieves cloister. I agree, Vortex, but. The thing about that is that I don't feel like we're getting a feel for the progression system. Because if this were Monster Hunter, we would be learning how to craft. What was that? Because if this were Monster Hunter. It's not fucking Monster Hunter. It kind of feels like it, though. Like, the, the hub area has a huge Monster Hunter feel. Oh, it does, yeah. And, and like... Clearly, the pr way you progress in this game, it's not a like level-based RPG where e each time you level up, you unlock new skills and stuff like that. It is a loot-based RPG, and part of that should be crafting. But there's no crafting yet. I think you have too much hope. I don't think there's going to be crafting, bud. I that just it's perplexing. I don't I don't understand. Why does it have to have crafting? Because, like, I've been collecting materials and stuff, I thought, somewhere. What materials? I'll have to look. There was something in the battle I don't pass. have any materials. Let me see if this heals. Oh god! Alright, come here. Come on. Anything? Is it just a buff? Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so this isn't a healing wand. Oh no, Akeep, there, there's, there are guns in this game. We just don't get to use them. 
But they have Bluetooth headphones. They do. We all have uh, earbuds where we can talk to each other. And also the enemies are robots that can have glitchy eyesight. Turn, turn around. Oh, well, no. I guess it picked yeah. up for you. Nope, that one did. Oh, interesting. King of Aggro. I just got that achievement. Almost as proud of that as I am of Yeet Lord. Pure Platinum. Boy. Over here. behind us. Also, there are stairs. The rapid bow is a very good spectral weapon. Yeah, I like it. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing, honestly, is longbow um, and then a rapid bow and a longbow for spectral weapon. Maybe a wand that can heal as my other weapon. Probably going to do... Sword for my quick attack. A hammer for my heavy. Yeah. And then a sword for my L2, and mm -hmm. then a shield for my R2. Nice. Or do a bow for my R2. Yeah. Because I don't really feel like the sh shield does that much. I've used it a couple of times now. It does help, but not enough to... Right, justify it. There's a what? Empty room over here. <laughs> oh, there was currency. I picked it up. Uh, must have. I hope it's giving that to you. Not that there's anything for us to spend our conches on right now. Other than those item sets, but I've already bought the ones that I even care about. Mevo73 asks, is this good? That's a tricky question. Here's why. Visually, it looks bad. There's there's something up with this. I really hope this isn't what the final product looks like. Story-wise, makes no sense and is bad. It, kind of intriguing lore, but in that way where like some uh, anime has really convoluted world building, it, it's got that vibe. Uh, but there aren't any likable characters to keep you interested in the world building um that being said combat very fun um fast paced you have four weapons equipped 
Um, so you can do a cool combination of like what your move set is. I like that a lot. Um, and, the, and like I said, combat is fun. Um, the loot game, too soon to tell. Um, there's, it's your typical affair where you've got color rarities. There seems to maybe be set bonuses. Um, stuff like that. Don't know if there's crafting or not yet. Is that a bow? Oh, I just picked up an artifact bow, apparently. Um, so, Aleph says, Aleph, Aleph, correct me, please. Um, so confused by the existence of this game. Please explain. I understand, but I want to know, like, what's confusing you. <laughs> Oh, they're shooting at us. Oh, cool! I can aim this bow. But only this bow. Also, it's not very good. <laughs> Lighter Vortex. I have Vortex. Hey, someone's got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Don't know if you heard that or not. Yeah, it feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't really see the point of that. Hey, boss room! But I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has about this game. Because that's the point of this, right? Is to figure out if this is the next game that you'll like, or to hopefully save you 60 bucks if you're on the fence. Wait, is this connected to Final Fantasy? So you're a Nier fan. That, that makes sense. A friend of mine. I haven't played Nier personally, but I know that it's beloved, and I've heard nothing but good things. Um, it, 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 this does seem to be... The, the, your feelings seem to be the feelings of everyone who is a fan of Platinum Games. They're just confused why this exists, and they're mad about it. Um, that being said... I'm enjoying the combat, and to me, based on what I know about Platinum, it does feel like Platinum games. It doesn't have polish. Like, this is not a polished experience. Um, well, to be fair, it's more polished than the typical game of this genre, but it looks terrible. Um, but I think that I would like for this game to exist, but just not from Platinum, if that makes sense. Because I'm a sucker for a, a, a looter slasher, as Godfall coined it. Um, and I think there is something here, but its existence in the way that it exists is confusing. And it just seems like it didn't have to go down like this. <clears throat> Got you. Uh -huh. Hey, a new hammer, finally. Oh my god, it keeps giving me hammers. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh yeah, got some new thigh highs. Let's go. Oh God. Or Bemis. <laughs> Did 
you skip. Yeah. All right, let's equip some gear. You know what's interesting is that it seems like they're not random rolls with the gear that you get. Like a piece of the same rarity that looks like if I find the red corset item that we both had and it's green rarity, every version that I find of that item that's green rarity is when you have the same base stats, mm -hmm. which I guess makes sense. But even like, if they don't share a level, even then the stats are the same. It seems. Sure, buy a longbow. We are playing on PS5, Aleph. And it looks like Dragon's Dogma on the 360. I don't know why it looks like this. There's like a mud filter on the game. I've said that probably four times in the stream, but like, that's what it looks like. It's, it, 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 just to be completely frank, um, it's not all bad. Like, His name I, is Stephen, but yeah. Hmm. 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 Sorry. <laughs> it's not all bad. Yeah. It, 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 I would buy this for $30. It, it, I would buy this for $30 if, po if after launch I learned that there was a good loot game here. Because I can't tell yet. But I think a fan of Platinum Games probably is going to hate this because they've seen the other side, you know? Um, they've seen the level of polish that these games can be. But me, I'm, I'm used to the jank, I guess. I play these kinds of games all the time, so it's just part of the unfortunate reality. Oh, hey! Aelith's a fellow Marvel Avengers player. Who's your main? I'm a Hawkeye main, all the way. We we play Avengers here sometimes, and I I yeah we do. I feel you there. We're just waiting for that next row map, waiting for the next content drop. I I play Hulk, so yeah. <laughs> waiting for Hulk to get buffed. <laughs> waiting for anything to happen to Hulk. Yeah. <sighs> like being able to run anywhere near fast as anybody. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that's another one of those that were like, there's good there. That there that is it is a good game at its core. It is fun, yeah. They just gotta deliver on the post launch. Yeah, and they it, when they launch that roadmap, if there are some big moves in there, whew. I mean, how much worse can it really get for them though? Yeah, the 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 expectation is the bar is set pretty low. Yeah. I got you. Nice. Yeah, because we play so many games here, I only really have time for a main. 
But uh, I used to be an Iron Man main. Then I became a Ms. Marvel main, strangely enough, because she is the best support character. Then Kate Bishop was really good. And all the while I was waiting for Clint Barton because I, I just love the character of Hawkeye. And, um, oh, man, they, they really delivered with his kit. I love his kit. And Skip. Not even going to wait to see what the first pic picture is. Oh, it's him. Or, or, no, it's him. It's him. Yeah. yeah. Did he it's kill Sora. all of the civilians? Probably. Where's the girl with the red ribbon? At least tell me you killed her. Yeah. They did. They made solid gameplay. Ugh, I hate this guy. And I feel like the criticism the game gets, it deserves criticism because they drop the ball with post-launch, but people often forget that the game itself is good. Yeah, the textures are bad. <laughs> it's an Xbox 360 game, I'm telling you. Like, it's ridiculous. Yay! Oh, was Astral Chain Platinum Games? That makes a lot of sense. I wanted to pl pick that one up. I'm going to give him an apple to eat so he can look like more of a villain. Or fire comes out of the... Hmm. Organ. Oh. That makes more sense. Some of the creature designs are cool. We were talking about that earlier. They have no heads. <laughs> Smug. Oof, I can't wait to I hope, it, head off. hope it turns around and eats him. Oh my god. Oh, the opera guy's back. Oh, yeah. Thank God. So you have to fight four enemies? Yep. Yeah. I'm in prison. I got out. Also, I'm, I'm about to die. Jeez, I just realized that. I killed the flying one. I've been working on these three. <laughs> yeah. Almost got the wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna concentrate the wolf. Got it. Nice. 
I'm going to try to keep my distance. That was stupid of me. He's getting healed. in prison again. Watch out for the ground. In jail. Ooh, bullet hell. I've got like no health or no defense or something. I've got all the spirit though. <laughs> Did I finally kill it? Holy shit. He just summoned another bird. Take the bird, I'll stay on him. He's doing something. Some of the dog. Oh, oh God, oh God! Oh my God, stop! Oh, there's a lady that joined the opera singer. In jail again. Killed the dog. Nice. He summoned another one. He's on some kind of pillar thing. Watch out. He's going to do something big. Lightning. Watch out for the ground. Yep. Watch out. Yep. Oh, gosh. Healing again real quick. He's stunned. I got turned to stone. Nice. Got him. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a good fight. I don't. I, I I like the boss fights. They're actually really fun. Yeah. 
all pure platinum, boy. I have no issue with the gameplay. Yeah. Like I was saying, if the loot game is there to support the combat, then I'm interested. But I'm a, I'm a build craft kind of guy, so I need to have incentive to look for the loot. I need to have the promise of being able to build something cool. His face looks like that McDonald's mask that got Mac tonight, you know, the moon guy. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot him with a gun. Oh. Why'd we stop her from shooting him? Because we wanted to do it ourselves? I think, yeah. Because he killed the guy with the red bow, or killed the lady with the red bow in her hair. Gotcha. And he's like, Meh. <laughs> got mad. Oh, it's Isham. What the mess? <laughs> he sounds like Skeletor. <laughs> yeah. Well, what a mess. What a mess. He mad? He mad? <laughs> Did the dogs not like that one? I guess not. I'll be back in a second. Yep. They're not going to make me care about this character that I literally just met that had an annoying voice. That's... It's a fool's errand. Boy, that joke really bummed for Kimber. <laughs> Was she upset? <laughs> I guess. What thing? I went out there and she's just... Barking at the wind. Gloves. I got nice gloves. Yay. Thigh highs. Yeah. And skip. I'm gonna wear him. Aha. That's it. We made it through the whole demo. I mean, it's it's a good demo. Yeah. But. I feel like it kind of shows everything. Yeah, but if this is the whole game, that's that's troubling. Yeah. Well, this apparently unlocks on Monday. I will not be getting it day one, but I will be paying attention to it. Um, it's a game that I would maybe buy with gift cards or, you know, spend $30 on. But it's also not a game that I'm going to get without the assurance that someone else is going to get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it, I, I would not really enjoy soloing this game. It's a lot of fun with friends, but... That's the Fear 3 principle. Any, uh, any game with co-op is at least a little bit redeeming. So I can't really rest on those laurels. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed getting to hear from some people on Twitch. We don't get that a lot. It's uh, no, nice. Appreciate you. Get that. Yeah. Coming by. 
Uh, Aleph, hope to see you around if you're still here. Um, most of our audience is on YouTube, but whenever we stream, we stream everywhere. So Twitch is your place. We'll be there. Um, but we have no content coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, yes? Yes. Cool. Nothing tomorrow. Um, but Monday, Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons is dropping, so Kat and I might be playing some of the story in the afternoon. Um, so I'll sure. probably be in chat. Sweet. Um, Stop by, see how it is. Yeah, I'd like you to at least see what Kantha looks like, because I like what they're doing with the map. Yeah. Um, but we'll have Guild Wars 2 story stream on Monday afternoon. And we have podcast Monday evening. That's the plan. Um, where we just kind of hang out. It's, it's it's normally a news talk kind of place, but place, show. <laughs> um, but news has been weird lately. Yeah. To where, like, it all happens in, like, w one week, and it happens, like, on a Tuesday is kind of how it's felt lately. So right after podcast. So we haven't done a lot of news lately. It's been a lot of reviewing the games that have just come out because th this month has been crazy and next month is going to continue to be crazy. Um, but yeah, just come hang out with us. We may have a show, like a special game lined up. Like one time we did guess the uh, AI drawing prompt. That was fun. We do tier that lists sometimes. Yeah. I, I, th I think I'd like us to do more of that. Like just trying to find a segment per podcast. That way... It doesn't just turn into us just kind of doing another stream. Yeah. Because it adds some variety. Because we play the same games a lot, which is fine, because I enjoy the games. But if it's going to be a podcast, we may as well make it unique from the rest yeah. of our stuff. So um, check that out on Monday night. Uh, nothing on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, we do a Sentinels of the Multiverse custom campaign that may or may not happen. Uh, we I coordinate with four other guys, um, and we do that um, whenever we can. So that may or may not happen. And then uh, live streams Thursday through Saturday. So really the only times you don't get any streams are, gosh, Tuesday and Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Tuesday. And, well, usually the, uh, the Sentinels is every other Wednesday. Yeah. We, we said we were going to start trying to do it every Wednesday, but it doesn't happen. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll, well, coordinating. It's hard. It's hard. Hope. It's hard. We're all, we're all adults. So, yeah. But yeah, um, if you would like, if you would like to join our Discord, link is in the channel banner. Uh, that's where we alert you guys when we've gone live and kind of clue you on what we're what we'll be playing next. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys on Monday with Guild Wars Two and then podcast to follow. Have a great rest of your weekend. Um, do some research on this game before you purchase it. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>